Money Talks is sponsored by Astound Broadband, powered by Grande. Pop quiz. Two things make money in the market. Time makes money and money makes money. Young people have time on their side, but tend not to have a lot of money to invest. So let's say you're 29 and you want to retire at 67. Even if your current retirement balance is zero, if you save $250 a month between now and then, you'll wind up with about $1.1 million, assuming a 10% average return. And that would be even better if you did start in your early 20s. Tonight, we dive deeper in on Money Talks. Many recent college graduates are in their first fall in the workforce. Many are drawing a steady paycheck for the first time in their lives. So what is the plan? We asked financial advisor Rolandis Johnson what he would have told his younger self after just graduating college. I would have told myself to, hey, go sit down with somebody that's been doing it for a while and say, hey, you know, what are some things that you've done? Um, but I definitely wouldn't shoot from the hip and just immediately start winging it because what happens is you get you're getting consistent money now. You want to buy everything that you wanted to buy a few years ago, and you start just buying stuff. Um, and that's a true story. That's what I did. So. <laughs> so we can all learn from Rojo. So I asked, what is a top thing that those graduates should immediately start doing? You know, you go five to ten years shooting from the hip, and then you're in catch-up mode. So, um, But I will say this. There is always time for paying yourself first. Uh, no matter what's going on, if that's not in your top three priorities, then I think you're doing something wrong. That's my opinion. Rolandis likes to point out that people think investing is something that I will do in the future, but consistently starting in your early 20s really sets you up for life. Your top three priorities, one of those should always be pay yourself first, whether that's start investing in stocks early, um, whether that's, you know, putting, you know, set it and forget it, mutual fund uh, type, type program. But um, the beautiful thing that you have graduating college is time. That's, that's the thing you've got, and, and time in the investing world, you will win 100% with, with just investing and just having time to continuously do it. And if you don't know anything, swallow your pride and learn. Ask some questions. After all, if you want to live in a mansion someday, don't ask a guy living in a cardboard box how to do it. And, you know, you talk to the several guys, and, and there's a bunch of great advisors in Central Texas or just in this area alone. And they'll tell you, at a little, at, you know, you're 22, 21, 22, 23 years old coming out of college, as as small amount of a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars, um, every paycheck will pay huge dividends by the time you're 40, 50 years old. I mean, I mean, you you're looking at, you know, depending on market and, and economic environment, man, you could be looking at two hundred fifty thousand to half a million dollar head head start. You know, getting into your, your, your mid to late 40s and, you know, retirement 20 years away still. So does Rojo worry about his kids not being savvy once they enter the workforce? Well, they better not be because hopefully I'm still around and kicking. They can always come see dad. So, Yeah, I'm seeing him too. That's good advice. Okay, the average 20-something has a retirement savings balance of $35,800. Way to go. That's according to Northwestern Mutual's latest planning and progress study. Now, if your balance is comparable, it means you're in really good shape. If not, it's time to start. So good job and good luck.